I've heard us uh, sometimes of spouses taking care of their loved ones uh, with Alzheimer's and sometimes it may feel like they become like a mother or father, if you will, to their loved one. Uh, how important is it, doctor, for caregivers uh, to also seek counseling as well, to maybe mentally get prepared? And I think that could help. It's very difficult for the loved ones to understand what's happening to, uh, to their loved one. I mean, they need to understand at least part of the disease and they need to understand what is going to happen with the disease. It's very difficult for me, for instance, to have said if my mother were to go through this, uh, to understand why is this happening. And this is some of the questions that the patient's loved ones have. Why is this happening to my father? Why is this happening to my mother? And I think the support group help with that. They give them information. They tell them what to expect, uh, what to do in certain situations. Uh, this is something that's very, very important for patients and for, not for the patient, but for the caretakers. Because by being with the support group, maybe you can learn um, how to talk to someone with Alzheimer's. Because I'm going to assume, doctor, that it is different than just talking to someone that does not have Alzheimer's, right? It's very different. It's they're very difficult to talk to these patients because, you know, they may not even understand what you're saying or they may ask the same question over and over again. And people tend to get frustrated. Uh, when they uh, talk to their loved ones. I've had many phone calls from many family members telling me that they're frustrated and their mother keeps asking the same things over and over again. They keep losing things. And it takes a lot of understanding. It takes a lot of patience. And sometimes you want to try to talk to them sort of at their level of understanding, uh, which is very difficult.